Hey everyone, uh, uh, today we are going to learn backup and restore uh, activity. So we are going to uh, do it uh, uh, in a Oracle database server. So here we have uh, two databases prod and test underscore s. So what is our action plan is we are going to uh, drop I mean take a backup for this prod database full database backup and then we are going to drop this database and then we are, we are again going to restore the uh, backup uh, I mean a database from the backup. So this is our action plan. So before uh, before that one we have to like uh, I have created one directory that is called backup and given some permission to write on that. So I will be giving the steps on the description box. So before uh, before before dropping we have to make sure that our backup is uh, successful. Okay. So let us check the environment. So this is a this is a database and uh, it's a read write it's in read write mode. So its archive destination is enabled. Uh, it's in archive log mode. So what we will do is uh, we will connect to our man and uh, we will take one backup. So I've already prepared this backup. What we are doing is we are taking a compressed backup in this format and this is the directory I have created and with the archive log we are taking the backup so that we can recover up to that uh, point and uh, we are taking control file backup that is the main uh, that is a uh, I mean vital uh, backup we have to take because we have to uh, restore it uh, restore the control file first then only it will come to my mount mode and uh, yeah uh, let's just execute this script so uh, this is what backup is uh, running so it will take a little bit time because this is a small database it's just for the testing purpose and it's a 12c release 1 database so uh, let us just wait for the backup to be finished. So uh, we can see the backup is completed. So before I mean now uh, uh, this is we, as we have not specified any log file. So we have to make sure that uh, backup is completed successfully. So we will check from the database. it's completed no warning nothing so everything looks good so what we will do is I mean once we drop the database it will uh, it will delete the SP file okay so uh, so before dropping the database as we are going to restore on this uh, on the data I mean the database on the server again so what we will do sorry uh, we are going to make a copy backup of this uh, sc file and once the once the database is dropped this sc file will also be removed so and uh, then again we can rename this backup file to sv file totora then we can uh, take that instance into no mount mode so this is our uh, action plan and but uh, what we can do also we can as we have not taken any backup of the sv file in the backup script i can put that one but i wanted to show this how to take a backup of uh, sv file in a particular location Okay. Oh, sorry. This is already being used, so not a problem. Oh, 
okay uh, we have taken sp file backup as well now what we will do we will just shut down this database and we will start up this uh, database into mount exclusive restricted mode and then we will drop the database before it's all i mean it's it's very necessary before dropping any database we have to make sure that we are in the correct database it's a uh, good practice So it's shutting down. So it's down, and now uh, we'll start in a uh, restricted mode. It will take some time to drop the database. Yeah, it's dropped. As it's a very small database, it's dropped actually. We can confirm that instance is down. See. So here we are in that uh, uh, DVS location only. See, that SV file that brought backup is now uh, removed. So I'll just do a copy of this. Now we can just uh, we have to database not started. Obviously, it will not start. Okay, this is our backup location where we can see that our control file. This is our control file. Uh, okay. So we can just restore it. it is showing this sorry we have to start the instance first so start up no mount I didn't notice that I did not start the instance so instance is started with the test file as we have uh, renamed from the backup file to the uh, SP file. So now we can see not mounted. Now we will connect to RML. now we will restore our control file latest control file backup yeah. control file is restored now we can mount the database so now the database is in mount mode we can now catalog this uh, backup directory where the backups are stored 
it will catalog that one yes so it's done catalog is completed now we can just restore the database so here it is restore database switch data file all switch name file all that's it we are allocating only two channels because it's a yeah let it be let it restore uh, it will take some time because it's a very small database it should not take uh, much time so uh, it took only one minute five seconds to restore the database so now we can just uh, recover the database with the archive logs backups yeah this error shows that uh, this is in number mismatch of the recent number so what we will do is we will uh, apply the we will open with the reset logs instance is up and running as we have already started and now it is in you could see we have we have our uh, database back so this is how we can uh, restore uh, from one one uh, full database backup so we have to make sure that is the parameter file control file uh, is necessary to restore the database and uh, as we are not uh, as we are restoring the database in a uh, 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 in that server only so i mean uh, if we are restoring in another server that will see in uh, next coming videos uh, that the password file is required to uh, copy so uh, that is it for today uh, we can uh, we can conclude this video hope you have liked this video and uh, you have learned something if you are learning from this video uh, i i will not cut this error and all because uh, uh, it happens when uh, when we are uh, doing something and error occurs so it is also learning for us that uh, i mean without i started restore i try to restore the control file without starting the instance so this kind of error we can get so this is also uh, one kind of learning so i'll not cut this header from this video uh, let it be there so that is it for today guys uh, i will see in the next video thank you very much